okay so now in this video we will add the controls for our player car okay the mobile controls so for that open up your browser and on the unity asset store search for this simple input system this is the creator name and this is the file size this is a free asset as you know and here is all of the information about this asset okay here is the link okay the URL so you can just simply type that if you didn't find this on this name on the unity asset store so after navigating to this asset add this to your assets and then it will show this open unity click on that then click on open unity editor it will open up this package like this then click on download in a second it will be downloaded because its file size is really small then click on import and now here is all of the things okay let's click on import you can see it is imported click on plugins here is simple input system here is the readme credits and all of that let's go inside the prefabs here is all of the controls for example in the player canvas let's add this there as you can see here is the left and right arrow let's add something else here is the forward and backward if you want to add that you can add that as well and then here is this here is the steering wheel and we actually need this steering wheel so add the steering wheel from the prefabs okay and then go inside the sprites we don't want to use the steering wheel we want to use our own so just in the source image okay of the steering wheel drag and drop that and then actually click on prefab unpack completely that's it here is our steering wheel if you check this out on the steering wheel here is the maximum steering angle and here is the wheel release speed and then here is the value multiplier okay so if we play the game it will not work okay let's check it out but the animation will be played on the steering wheel but as you can see the car doesn't rotate the wheels as you can see because we need to type a code for that but first let's just set the steering wheel click on this uh, react transform let's move it to the bottom left and then let's focus up on this okay and let's move it a little bit to this side actually turn on the gizmos and then let's move it right there okay it looks good there but let's actually move it a little bit down that's it so now we have the steering wheel let's just go inside the prefabs again and we need the forward and backward right here so for that in the player canvas let's drag and drop this arrow vertical click on it then unpack completely okay unpack its prefab and let's change this to movement here is the script attached to it okay just don't do anything to the script right here open up this movement now in the top let's go right here on the top we will drag and drop that one and then for the bottom we will drag and drop the reverse sprite right there and let's just actually move them to this side so click on its react and move it to the bottom left and let's move them right there okay let's actually rotate their these buttons so click on the top let's actually select both of them and rotate Let's actually rotate them one by one. Like that. Let's focus up. 
Anut. Okay. Here it is. Let's rotate it. Okay, now let's rotate this one down below. Okay. Looking good. Now let's move them. To wherever to this side. Okay, it looks good there. Let's move them a little bit to this side. Okay, it looks good right there. So now we have the steering wheel, we have the forward and reverse. Now the next thing which we do is to simply make them work. Okay, for now if we play the game, you will notice that the steering will rotate, but if the tire wheel doesn't rotate and also the car doesn't move, move forward and backward. Okay, let's open up the player car controller. Let me actually close all of that other scripts and now right here what we need to do instead of this input we need to type simple input okay just type that let's uh, copy that from there and add it right here in the steering wheel as well just type simple input instead of the input Okay, let's save this let's go inside the script now let's play the game now you will notice that now the car wheels are now rotating as you can see now if you click on forward button as you can see now our car is moving forward and now we have the steering working as you can see let's move forward again okay we will need to test this uh, on a real device phone but that is for the future for now let's just continue on this okay as you can see now our input works we can go in the reverse gear as well as you can see and then we can do that okay so now our buttons are working now the next thing which we need to do is to add the braking 